Hi, this is a simple tutorial about the basic navigation of a three-dimensional model in MeshLab. So, we can load a model and we will see how to visualize it using mouse and combinations of keys. So, the navigation of a model in MeshLab is based on the concept of a trackball, which is this kind of spherical object that you see. And this uh, spherical object is, the trackball is, is essentially defined by uh, the position of its center, which is the will be the center around uh, which we will rotate uh, the, the model, and the mm, starting position, the center of the trackball, is uh, uh, in the center of the bounding box of the object. And the other uh, uh, important thing about the trackball is the, s the the sides. So the, the bigger the trackball, the more uh, the mm, slow will be the rotation of the object. So. Here you have a, a reference of the size and position of the trackball when you make a navigation. So the basic navigation is called dragging, and thi it's this rotation uh, following the trackball uh, values. Okay, and this is obtained very easily uh, by clicking the left uh, button of mouse and moving the mouse. So keeping keeping the left uh, button pressed and moving the mouse drags the object. So this is dragging. Uh, there are other uh, simple movements which can be uh, quite useful uh, in several cases. So another one is the so-called panning. To do the panning, you have to press the control key and then may and then drag the object. So if you press control, you see that the movement of the model becomes a panning. Okay. Now in order to zoom in and zoom out the object, uh, there is a very easy way to do that. Is just using the wheel. So if you move the wheel of the mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out the, ob mo the object. And you can make the very same thing by pressing uh, shift and dragging. So you see here, if I press shift and I drag the object, I uh, get a zoom in. Okay. Another quite important thing is the possibility to change the field of view of the camera, which is seeing the model right now. So here, you have uh, the value of a current field of view of the camera. If you want to change it, uh, you have to press the shift key and use the wheel. So shift plus wheel changes the field of view. You will see this number changing here. And you see that uh, you can increase or decrease the field of view up to a orthographic view, like this one. Last thing that you can do for the navigation is the double click. So if you double click on a point on the model, you get a, a, a zooming uh, of the a small zooming of the object, and the object is centered on the point on which you click. An important thing is that you can notice that the new center of the trackball will be on the point uh, where you clicked. So you have a new center of the trackball. So if I click here, you see that uh, the model is going to rotate around the new center which is on which is on the top of the head last important thing about navigation is that uh, uh, sometimes the new position of the trackball like this one is not very uh, easy to handle if you want to navigate the model so if you want to mm, work on a particular point this could be useful but sometimes you would like to go back to the initial position so uh, a very important combination that it proves to be very useful in several cases is the control H which uh, simply resets the trackball to its original position so if I click control H I get back to the original position where the trackball is centered respect to the boundary box of the object and this is very useful especially sometimes when you have complex uh, models sometimes you could get lost in the navigation you don't know where the object is anymore so if you click control H is an emergency it's just like uh, an emergency button that brings you back to the original position. So these are the basic uh, navigation uh, combinations that you can uh, have in, uh, in MeshLab. And uh, one of very few online documentation of MeshLab is in the help, on-screen quick help, that gives you a list of the possibilities for the navigation. There is also the possibility, to, for example, to change the uh, near and far clipping plane. You can experiment with that. And uh, so if at any time you don't know exactly what to, uh, to do with the 
to, to, to see a model you can so go in help and on screen quick help to have a feedback so this is for the basic uh, navigation of a model in MeshLab thank you